Hey guys, welcome back to Fixie TV and another episode of Hey Let's Fix It. In today's episode, we'll be replacing the screen of an old MacBook Pro 2010. These unibody MacBooks are probably one of the best designed MacBooks in terms of upgradability and repairability. Let's see how smoothly this repair goes. This MacBook Pro 2010 has screen and Wi-Fi issues. For this particular model of MacBook, the Wi-Fi card is installed in the screen, so you'll need to either disassemble the screen hinge to access it, or replace the entire screen assembly. In our case, the screen had issues, so we just ended up replacing the entire screen assembly. To do this replacement, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and a T8 Torx screwdriver. For the parts, we managed to find a second-hand screen for around 5,500 pesos, around 110 US dollars. To start the repair, you'll need to flip the laptop over and remove the 10 screws. Three of these screws are longer than the others, so you'll need to take note of where these go. Once you get the panel off, be sure to unplug the battery to avoid any logic board damage. Next, you'll want to unplug the speaker and screen cable in the middle of the logic board. The screen cable is tucked underneath the speaker, so you'll need to wiggle it out. Above the speaker, you'll see a hinge bracket you'll need to unscrew. Next, you'll want to unplug the screen connector on the top right of the laptop. Beneath that connector, you'll find another hinge bracket that you'll need to unscrew. Now you'll need to unscrew the T8 Torx screws to remove the entire screen assembly. A handy tip is to open up the laptop before unscrewing the hinges and lay it flat with the keyboard facing down on the table or have the laptop lean to its side. This makes it easier to remove the entire assembly. Once you get the old screen assembly out, you can attach the new screen. Ideally, you want the new screen and hinge to be positioned at a 90 degree angle. If it isn't, you can carefully try to move the hinges to make it line up at a 90 degree angle. This repair was quite easy, so we'd rate it about a 7 out of 10 fixie repair rate. You'll just have to be careful when handling all the components to avoid damaging anything. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and comment down below. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. We do weekly tech repair and review videos, so hit the notification bell to get instant updates once we upload. Till then, we hope to see you in the next one. See ya!